Former President Trump injured in attempted assassination at Butler County rally. Shooter, bystander dead. Former President Donald Trump was taken to the hospital after being shot in the ear Saturday while speaking at a rally in Butler County. Now, Sky 4 over the aftermath of tonight's rally. A political event turned crime scene. All this just two days before the opening of the Republican National Convention, which tonight we understand is still on. Now you just saw and you heard the chaos that was happening. You can see the former president quickly grab his ear when the first gunshots were heard. Seconds later, he goes down to the ground and is quickly covered by the Secret Service. More seconds later, we would hear that the suspected shooter was down. Now again, you could just hear that someone possibly with Secret Service said on that hot microphone, the shooter is down shortly before the former president is helped from the stage. Now, we want you to take a look at this. We have blurred this video captured by a witness at the rally of what appears to be the body on a nearby rooftop. You can see the guy there. I think they hit him because the guy is, he looks dead. Now again, we have blurred this video, but a witness at the rally says the band down on the roof looks dead. And we've confirmed the shooter was on an elevated area and was shot and killed by law enforcement. Now we're learning the shooter fired as many as eight rounds from an AR style rifle while perched on a rooftop adjacent to the venue. That's according to law enforcement sources. The shooter was also 200 to 300 yards away from the time of the gunfire. Now Trump posting this statement on Truth Social. I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for the rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. Now, the FBI has now leading this investigation in this case, and minutes later, President Biden addressed the nation. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. Trump was about 10 minutes into a speech at the Butler Farm Show grounds when he reached for his head and then ducked behind the podium for cover. The crowd began to scream and cover their heads. A spokesperson for Allegheny Health Network said those two patients were taken to Allegheny General Hospital in critical condition. ABC News learned from law enforcement that up to eight rounds were fired from an AR-style rifle. President Joe Biden said he has been briefed on the shooting at the rally and was grateful to hear that. Trump safe and doing well. You may be able to find the same content in another format, or you may be able to find more information at their website. Shapiro said on social media, violence targeted at any political party or political leader is absolutely unacceptable. Let's turn to this now. Witness Josh Dressbling took his video at the former president's rally today. And let's take a look at this video. You can see at least two different men helped by law enforcement from the bleachers. They appeared to be injured here. One of them was able to actually walk out on his own. The other 
had to be carried out. But uh, Josh capturing that video of this moment as it's unfolding, there's the person being carried out right now. Uh, we don't have any confirmation. That, that's one of the, obviously one of the two people that was injured. Right. Uh, and is at Allegheny General Hospital tonight. Well, Andrew, Kelly, I, I can tell you what, there's a sense of shock and disbelief and just people wondering what really happened here. A lot of folks just came down here just to uh, come to a rally for former President Donald Trump here in Butler uh, Butler Farm Show, but we uh, it just turned into complete chaos. We were on the media section of this venue and we heard those several pops uh, and we too, my cameraman uh, Jax and myself, we both hit the, uh, hit the ground. As soon as we got up, everyone, there was kind of a chaos and sheer panic. Uh, we did see a couple of folks being carried out. We did see former President Donald Trump immediately be shielded by Secret Service and taken out. He did give a, a fist up in support uh, to his supporters before he was immediately taken out of the venue. Uh, and after that, everyone was just told to evacuate and exit. We've been speaking with folks all afternoon trying to gauge where they were when they heard these pops and how they were feeling during that entire time. A lot of folks saying they were just they saw their lives flash before their eyes and many just wanted to make sure their loved ones were okay we actually spoke with two firefighters that came all the way from Steubenville Ohio who told us they got down and waited a couple minutes and as soon as they kind of perked their heads back up the next thing they thought of was jumping into action and helping in any way they could and that was kind of the tale of what we kind of saw here today a lot of folks just in shock of what's happening and others trying to step in and help law enforcement and first responders in any way possible we did see again two folks being carried out out. Their conditions are uh, unknown at this time. We actually spoke with mayor, uh, the mayor of, uh, of Slippery Rock, who was one of the guest speakers for this event, who was one of the people carrying that woman out of the venue. Uh, she, according to him, she seems to be okay, but of course that is un unknown at the time. But he was just steps away from the former president at the podium, and he did happen to see uh, some blood on the side of his face. I'm actually going to kind of show you what's left of the rally site overall. I'm going to step off to the side. Jax is going to show you at least out what's left. This entire area right here was filled with cars and vendors ready to come out and for the rallies. One of the larger rallies even I've been able to come and cover uh, just about the sheer number of supporters here for the former president and it just about that it is cleared up. If you look further off into the distance some of that uh, there is still traffic leading on the way out. Just to give you an idea of where we were you see that American flag hang uh, up on those two cranes. The stage was just below that where former President Trump was speaking and we were about maybe 100 yards, 100 feet away from the, from that podium. And just so that's to give you an idea of how far we are now following that evacuation uh, out into where we are standing as Secret Service and police are investigating that scene. You can see vendors just picking up what's left of their stands and trying to exit uh, the area in, in a safe manner. Of course, traffic is, uh, is going to keep people in this area for a long, long time. But again, when I'm speaking to folks, a lot of folks were just in shock this even happened and wondering what happened if the former president was okay if anyone else was hurt uh, when I did tell him the former president is expected to be okay there was a lot of sighs of relief and just a, a lot of questions why 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 is this happening what's going on who would do this and a, a lot of wave of support uh, of course, you know, we are still waiting to hear the conditions of those other folks, uh, but we do know that the former president is okay. You can see a stand here being basically picked up and cleaned up after what was expected to be almost a long afternoon for them, just trying to sell their merchandise, but then they have to pack up and head out the door. You can see some of that traffic off in the distance slowly moving its way out of the venue as thousands of people make their way out after trying standing in the heat upwards until seven o'clock in the morning eight o'clock in the morning and uh, we got here closer to nine set up it, the heat was coming down a lot of folks there were some issues with the fact that it was so hot and people were passing out and needing water uh, and then shortly after president trump took the uh, former president trump took uh, the podium uh, he spoke for a few minutes and then we heard those several pops and then after that it was just a blur for a lot of people in the uh, in the venue. Uh, so he immediately got down. Again, Secret Service immediately covered him. The rest of the crowd got down uh, and then uh, they slowly ushered him out as quickly as possible and then told the rest of uh, the venue to please evacuate. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound. Shots and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin.